You guys see why I didn't make a preview for this game? Because I just knew that where did the ball go Whedon would choke it all up again. I can guarantee you we will lose every single game without Whedon. You got these morons who want to protect Whedon, make excuses after excuses after excuses for Brandon Whedon. Let me tell you something. If your quarterback has to rely on the defense uh, for penalties and just hope they get injured oh hopefully they'll go off sides oh hopefully they'll you know pass interference if your starting quarterback has to rely on that he needs to leave the team he needs to leave the league because if he does that he's not at nfl level he's not at a uh, college level he's at high school no not even high school level peewee football level that's how trash he is that's how trash he's been, and that's how trash he always will be. For those that want to protect Whedon, say it wasn't his fault, let me tell you something. Do you guys even know when the last time Brandon Whedon won a game in the NFL? Don't even trip. I did my research just last week before we lost to... Uh, to the New Orleans Saints, which, fun fact, ended our uh, road, game, road game winning streak in the hands of Brandon Whedon. Who else would it be? The last time Brandon Whedon won an NFL game, October 3rd, 2013, up against the Trash Bills. And he didn't even play the entire game. He was with the Browns. He came in like the second quarter as a backup. And he didn't even have much to do with it. It was a defense and the special teams. So his last NFL victory didn't even win, uh, didn't even play the entire game, and it wasn't even he he wasn't even the reason or a factor on how they won. So all you guys are trying to protect Whedon, screw off. He's garbage. And he will never be anything but garbage. Defense. I love it. Greg Hardy. Rolando McClain. Did great. After the bye week. We're going to have Des Bryant. And Randy Gregory back. Des, Des is coming back. Not that it matters anyway. Because you know. Uh, Jason Garrett. He's too dumb. To even give Matt Castle a chance. I love the defense. Alright. I, I I loved it. Well, the first half, alright. I I just left the game. The fourth quarter is still going on. Because I'm too disgusted to even look at this team anymore because of how sorry they are with Brandon Whedon. And for those who want to say, oh, you're not a fake, uh, you're a fake fan, you're a bandwagon, you don't know anything about football, you're going to call me a bandwagon? Hold on, I got a picture right here. I got a picture. It, I went to draft day, all right? I went to draft day at uh, Dallas Cowboys 2013, and I got an autograph from DeMarcus Ware. Last time I checked, DeMarcus Ware left the Cowboys before the 2014 start, uh, season started. So no, I'm not a bandwagon fan, and this just proved it. You want to call me a bandwagon fan? Piss off. I know my team. Alright, you're going to call me a fake fan because I'm facing reality? You, you can still be a fan. You can still be a fan, but you gotta face... The reality. You know what I mean? You can't just assume that you're the greatest team in the history of the National Football League because, you know, you're a fan of them. I mean, you gotta go, oh, no, they're not the best team in the history uh, of the National Football League. They got some problems now. You morons are going, we're the best team in the league. Brandon Wien, he can hold it down. Now look. We got three first downs in the first half. Two of them were because of defensive penalties. 
which goes back to relying on the defense to screw up. That's what Brandon Wing does. That's what he's always been doing. I don't know why he's still on this team. We couldn't beat... Also, the New Orleans Saints, we had them right where they, right where we wanted them to be. It was prime time. At their stadium, on the road, we are, we are almost perfect on the road. Did great. 0-3 team. Going up against an 0-3 team, prime time, on the road... And Brandon Wien, he couldn't even get that done. He couldn't even do that. Call me a bandwagon fan just because I'm facing the reality of things. You're retarded. Thank God there's a bye week, alright? I need a bye week after this. I cannot take Brandon Wien's bullcrap much longer. I swear to God. And... We haven't lost to the Giants ever since 2012. We're about to, in the hands of Brandon Whedon, as always. He has never won a game with us. And you're still going to protect him. Make excuses. Shut up. <sighs> I posted. I posted on Instagram right before the second half started. If we get one more three and out, I'm killing myself tonight. And, of course, I'm not going to do that. You know, I, it's just showing people that I'm pissed. Won't even give Matt Castle a shot. I'm done. Bye week. We got Des Bryant coming back. Not like it's going to matter, but whatever. It, it just... We lose players due to injuries... Every week, like two to three players, it makes you think, who are we going to lose this week? Oh, Hunter, it's a bye week. What does it matter? They're going to get injured sitting on their couches. I'm done. You guys have a good one. Call me a fake fan. I'm just facing the reality of things. Still a fan till the day I die. But for now, get this choking piece of garbage off of our team.